Zelda Zebraherd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Today we are checking out Donpei Shack, which is really interesting because this was not at all in the original game. This is totally new to this Nintendo Switch remake, but we've been earning up different slabs. There's still more ways to earn more slabs, but since I just haven't even checked this place out at all, I figured I'd check it out in today's episode. That'll be the main focus. Hello. Uh, hey there you are. I wanna sh show you something interesting. You've gone poking into some of the ruins on this island, I can tell. Yeah, basically all of them. I make little chambers based on those dungeons. Put some chambers into the slab back there and it turns into a real dungeon. How's that work, you ask? Who knows? <laughs> but I want your help testing the limits of this thing. I wanna hear about the dungeons you've seen. It inspires me to make new chambers for you. With a few chambers, you can make basic dungeons. With a bunch, you can make complicated ones. So if you can use what you got to finish the challenges I give you, uh, though you're not done once you've finished arranging a dungeon, you've gotta adventure through it too. I'm no designer though, and I'm no adventurer either. That's all up to you. I'll make the risk worth it. Impress me and there's a treasure for you. Uh. Is that a chamber stone you got there? I should have a couple. I can make special chambers out of those. Bring it to me when you find them. You look like you've been through a lot. Sit down and tell me about it. Sure. So we've done every dungeon in the game so far. We've done everything but actually complete the game. Oh. Hey, look at this. You got some new chambers. Sla slot them into the dungeon to see what's inside. What are you here for? Arranging amiibo or quit. I don't have any amiibo on me right now, but maybe later in today's episode I can get those out. So I don't know how this works. Basically, you get to design your own dungeon. It looks like there's three things you need to have. A starting point, a room with a chest, which probably has the key in it, and then also a boss fight. Oh, okay, so this is arranging the dungeon. Dungeon arranging 101. I started this one already. Can you finish it? Make a path from the entrance to the nightmare's lair. There's gotta be a stop along the way for the treasure chest. If a chamber's got an exit, you gotta connect it to another exit. Nobody wants an exit that goes nowhere. Okay. Take chambers from the menu on the right with A, then slap them on the tiles to the left with A. A lot of times you'll want a chamber with a particular set of exits, so that's how I divided them up. You can flip through the list with L and R. Okay, so as you can see, so these different dungeons, like how this is categorized, um, they have exits to the upper part, uh, exits on the bottom part, left and right. Um, and it looks like with these, these are ones that have two exits, these are ones that have three exits, and these are ones that have four exits. Interesting, and then these are boss rooms, which I can't choose those just yet, and we have all the bosses here, that's pretty cool. Um, and all the entrance points, but I, I can't even worry about that for right now. So our goal then should probably be the first finish off that like move, like you know how it moves to the left. I would like that one to be a dead end. So if we move over this way, what we could do, we have a couple of options. I don't wanna make it too complicated for our first one. So we'll choose some easier rooms, like maybe just this one. Um, and we can put that right there. The Nightmare here always is always gonna be the last treasure chest you open. Any extra chests around the dungeon will have rupees and such in them. An exit in a chamber might turn into a locked door or a shutter, depending on which chamber you hook it up to. The rules, there are rules for which type of exit goes the right, right of way. You'll learn them pretty quick as you go. Okay, so there's that done. So now we can choose something like, I, I just wanna make a nice simple dungeon to start things off, and then we can get a bit more complicated. Uh, so we could, this might be too easy, it might be a little boring, but just for now, just for now. And I need something with three parts for this one. Um, I think, yeah, something like this would be good. Hmm. Oh, we could do the color dungeon one. There we go. Uh, sometimes you think you're all set, but a chamber isn't turning from red to blue like it should. When that happens, press Y to check to see what the deal is. Wait, why didn't that, hold on. Oh, well no, that was X. I always get that mixed up. Uh, there are unconnected chambers, there are unconnected net exits. Okay, I'm working on it. You could also get a boss fight here, but I don't want that right now. So we are looking for a two connected one for the left, from right to left. Yeah, something like this. I know, I'm gonna go for the easiest ones for right now. Uh, and then we'll worry about everything else later. So I just need two. Yeah, coming in from the left and leaving up. Okay, we'll get this mini boss in there. He's from the first dungeon. 
When the entrance lights up green, the job's done. Press A on the entrance to go adventuring through your shiny new dungeon. Uh, while you're on your adventure in the chamber dungeon, I'll set you up with all, all the bombs and such you'll need. After it's over though, you'll have whatever you had before. Okay, so it looks like, I, I, do I get any rewards for completing these? Like, do I get the rupees that I get? I don't know. Uh, for right now, we'll just do this. Go adventure, and I know it's a really simple dungeon, we'll make it a more complicated one, but for right, for right now, I just wanted to make the simplest one I possibly could. The goal of an adventure in this dungeon is to get to the end and beat the nightmare. Try not to run out of hearts before you get there. If you want to quit before an adventure is over, you can either leave through the entrance or choose quit adventuring from the system part of the subscreen. Okay. So let's go to the left first, because there's a treasure chest, ooh, and some enemies to fight. That shouldn't be too bad. And what do we got in here? A blue rupee, so that's five rupees, nothing major. Oh, so you see, I'm, I'm actually starting at zero, so I don't know if I keep these, I probably don't. But hey, maybe there's like some kind of scoring system, the better we do, maybe the more stuff we get. Oh, I need a bomb. Well, luckily we have some. And kapow. Cool, so we got through that. And now I have this little puzzle to solve, which, very easy. It actually doesn't do anything. The doors were already open, which is sort of funny. But anyways, we'll go this way now. And we, oh, we get a, do we get a key for that? No, we get a chest. What'll be inside of the chest? Most likely rupees. Uh, Yep, a purple rupee this time. Not bad, that's 50. So we're at 56. Uh, And we got these booze. Okay, this is the one that the game already had in there. Okay, boo, get out of here. Uh, I should probably really quickly use the flame rod. And hiya, no wait, wrong way. Oh, that gets you too. Okay, so I actually didn't need to do that. I just needed to uh, defeat the boos. But I'm still gonna do this and and this. <laughs> and let's see what's inside of here. A red rupee. Wait, I thought that was supposed to get me the big key. I guess it doesn't. I was, I'm a little confused. I thought that that room would out guarantee me the big key. I thought that was the whole point of it being sort of predeterminedly there. Well anyways, we got this guy to fight. So this guy shouldn't be that big of a deal to, to beat. Oh gosh, keep him back. And we have like a, oh my gosh, we beat him in three hits. Cause we have the super powered sword, we have the red tunic. So I guess we just do a ton of damage. That's amazing. That's gonna make, whatever the final boss is gonna be in this game, hopefully it won't be too bad. But I never opened, is there, what's going on here? There's apparently a chest. I don't see a chest. Maybe I have to make them all blue? Ah, okay, so it wasn't just you gotta make them red, which is weird, but hey, this should have the big key in it then? It does, okay, so everything else was, you don't get to choose which chest has the big key? That's a little weird. Maybe I, maybe you can, and I just misinterpreted it. I don't really know. Uh, but what's going on up here? We got our boss fight. It's gonna be this guy, who was the first boss of the game. So let's see how many hits he takes. Uh, ow. Two, he takes two. The poor guy has so little health compared to what we can do. That's amazing. All righty, so as you can see, we complete our first custom dungeon. Dungeon arranging 101 clear. Nice. I like it. What a show, there were times I'd swear you had one foot in the grave, are you sure about that one? A thrill like that deserves something from my collection in exchange. Hey, look at this, we got ourselves a chamber slotted into the dungeon to see what's inside. The rupees you find around the dungeon are a little bonus from me. You can keep them once the adventure's over. Oh really, okay. Uh, watching you down there gave me an idea for a new challenge. It's, it's ready whenever you want it. Really, what are you here for? So arrange adventure amiibo or quit. So would it be adventure I'm looking for? Placing the basics, is that the new thing? I don't know, he was saying it like there's something new that he set up, but I can't do this. Uh, I'm a little confused by what he means then. Let's arrange something then. If I can't, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, I guess I gotta do it from here. So placing the basics. Placing the basics, see those tiles with the treasure chest and locked door marks? That's where you put the chambers that have, oh gosh, have the stuff in them. You get keys to open locked doors out of treasure chests, okay. Be sure you place enough chests to make it through. Sad to see an adventure run out of keys, <laughs> that's true. 
you always need an entrance and a nightmare's lair. That's the basic rule of chamber dungeons. All right. Some tiles have treasure chests or locked door marks. When you see one of those, you gotta put a chamber on it that has what it wants. Okay. That's very interesting. I can't wait to see what that sort of works looks like when we get multiple floors. So this one I actually get to choose the beginning too, so that's cool. Uh, I don't know which one I wanna do. Let's do this one. I like this one. So I can just put this like way down here. So I guess I need something that has a key door and then two chests. I want this one to be like, I don't know how I want this one to be. Uh, maybe we could just like make it like a question mark or something. Uh, that'd be fun. So, huh. Lots of options. So we could make the boss just something different. Oh, how would the bird work? Oh, that would be interesting. What if I put that there? But I, it might not work that way. Put it there. Uh. What else can we do? So we probably want two-way things for right now, right? Well, actually, no, I'll, I'll do... Yeah, yeah, okay, no. Now, now I know what I'm thinking of. I want one of these. Honestly, I like ones with a lot of fights in them, you know? <laughs> That's a bit more interesting to me. There we go. Uh, and then we'll probably go up. So for that, I'll need this. What if I just made like a boss gauntlet? I feel like I, f I feel bad because I'm not really setting up any puzzles, puzzles, but I'm not really good at designing puzzles, to be honest with you. Uh, and then we can use a couple of these. I really want to make like a little mini boss question mark gauntlet. It's like, who are you going to fight? The question mark. There we go. So now I can do one of these, but it has to have a chest in it. Okay, well, these two have a chest in them. All right, we'll do this one. <laughs> that works. And then we need one like this that has a key. Is that the idea here? So that wouldn't work. Huh. Okay, well that actually mixes up with my plans a little bit. Maybe we could find... This one has a staircase though. Hold on. I'm sort of in the wrong spot. I don't know if that's what I want. It's a little weird. Aha, this is good, this is good. So this is where I would do probably, yeah, something like this. Uh, or I could, oh, this is from the color dungeon, isn't it? With a bunch of rupees in it. Doesn't seem like it has as many as it did in the color dungeon. They were all blue rupees there. Uh, next up. It'd be cool if you could share these. I don't think there's a way to share them, like Mario Maker. But basically, this is like Legend of Zelda Mario Maker. It's a lot of fun. Uh, let us do no boss fights out of this one. So I guess we'll just we'll do this. Well, actually, this does this have a chest? This one doesn't, but this one does. So if we could find one more hook that has like a fight. Aha. Actually, no. I want to do this one. I like this guy better. There we go. So let's check it. Everything's good. It doesn't look like a question mark at all anymore, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to be. Um, so we're done. Record arrangement. Uh, is that what I want? I guess. You To save this arrangement permanently, you must save your game on the system screen. Okay, but how do I play it? Um, oh, there we go, Keep, go adventuring. I was being silly. So yeah, let's try this one out, see how it goes. Uh, so first we go into the entrance and we fight this guy. So he was the guy who we have to drop bombs on, right? Uh, I forgot, uh, I'm just gonna put a bomb down, see if that works. Oh, I remember, yeah, we gotta knock him when he's sort of vulnerable and then smack him with a bomb. Yeah, when he's revving up to hit me, that's when I hit him, because we can attack faster. Okay, ready? Hup. That's it, he's done, he's done, he's finished. Let's get out of here. I mean, that might get me something. Because I think he was the guy we would get the hook shot from. But not this time, because this one didn't have the four spots on it. And then we got this guy. This guy we can destroy in three hits, so. Whoop. One, two, wait, two, dip. Yeah, there it is, oh, I'm on the spike. <laughs> Luckily, that doesn't hurt. It's just fun to do the little fights like this. I enjoy it. We'll grab this, please and thank you. And then I have 
the ranged move of awesomeness. Okay, this guy's a little weird, but we should be able to make him work. What we have to do is, yeah, go ahead and throw your stuff, buddy. Ow, you actually, no, you weren't supposed to land. Ow, no, pick it up, no! Oh, I'm bad at this. Yeah, make him have to throw it really far, and then he's in trouble. And then he's, he gets a little taste of his own medicine, he doesn't like it. What do you know, don't throw heavy objects at people. Don't throw anything at anybody. Unless you're playing catch with them, and they wanna also play catch, then you can throw something at them, I guess, because that's the point of playing catch. But you know what, that's, that's different. Anyways, we're going up this way. Well, we should use a bow and arrow against him. So we're going against the guy twice in this dungeon. That's fine. Oh gosh. Can I jump over him? I can. Okay, we're fine. Oh, is he gonna go this way? I don't even know where he's going right now. Oh, that must have hurt though. Okay, come on over here. There we go. It seems like I get hit every time I try to use the bow and arrow though. Yeah! Wasn't ready for that, but we got him! Nice! Okay, so for this one, we get another fairy. It's nice because we get a little health refill every time. That is when the, the fairy doesn't try to run away from us. And we get a chest in here, which will probably be a key, okay. Now, I don't know if we're getting any rupees for this one. It is weird, because I remember all of these individual pieces of all these different dungeons, but now they don't lead where my instincts tell me they lead. Because it's sort of technically a different dungeon. So I'll light these up now. I don't have to actually do anything for me. But I do have, I, I remember, a bombable spot here that leads to a bunch of rupees. And luckily I already know the layout of the dungeon. I don't get, I don't need a map. So at least we get this, it's just a free money room. Which it isn't a ton, it isn't as much as it was in uh, the actual color dungeon, unfortunately, but that's okay. We still got 28 rupees. That's a pretty good price. And I can open this up. Inside is another chest. This is probably the big key, if I had to imagine. Indeed it is. Nothing too crazy. And what is going on in the next room? Oh yeah, this guy. Okay, this could be a bit complicated. But we'll do it, we'll do it. Get that set up. Whoop. Oh no, get him. Okay. Where is he going? Over this way. Oh, jump over. Hit him with that. Ah. Oh, I got him again though. <laughs> that counted. What's nice about this one is that there's no like centerpiece in the way, so we can actually hit him if he goes down this way. We could we time it well. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's cool. Alrighty, well we beat him twice. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use the hook shot. If I can. There we go, thank you very much. And I can use my big key to go in here and fight something. Wait, what? Oh yeah, it's the bird, I forgot about the bird. Very cool. So with this one, oh man, that's so crazy. Now we can go up here and fight the bird. Hey there, bird. So I'm gonna try to beat him up as much as I can. Now with our super powered sword, you think it'd go pretty well. I think I got him a couple times there, so. Good. Gotcha, gotcha, look at that. Man, we are so powerful. It's almost like unfair. <laughs> My gosh. It's a couple of hits and they go down. Placing the basics clear. Not bad. So I'll try to get all these done. All these, like I guess, different tutorials. What a show. There were times I'd swear you had one foot in the grave. If they're like, that deserves something for, for my collection in exchange. So for this one, we get more stuff. You got a chamber, very nice. Watching you down there give me an idea for a new challenge, it's ready whenever you want it. Okay, so let's keep arranging, keep doing these different challenges, because they're a lot of fun. So, a passage across, unplaceable tile. You can't place chambers on those light gray tiles to the upper right. The only way to reach those tiles is with chambers that have stairs. That's what this challenge is about. You'll learn more, you'll learn how to use stairs to cross along distances, or you'll fail, one of the two. <laughs> okay, let's try this out. So for this one, where do we start? I guess we get to choose. I would like to start here. That'd be the easiest possible thing, right? Um, and then we will do a room. I don't want to make these all super crazy easy, but if I could, you know, just make them a little bit easier to understand and set up for now, then that'd be the best thing. 
So the only one I have, well, we have two with staircases. Let's do this one. We always want to choose one that has a chest room as well. Uh, one chamber with stairs isn't enough. You should put a second stair too. That way they'll link up. Press Y to check how on how your stairs connect together. Can I change that later? That'd be cool. And then I could, like this is just the stair room. So I could, uh, like at this point, if I wanted to make it really simple, uh, I could just put that there. And then I just need to put, I think that would, it would technically work. Um, yeah, we'll do this one. And check, yep. But you can't change that. Maybe it's all about the ordering of which you set things up. But technically that's good. I mean, I don't wanna make them too complicated because I'm sure things are going to get more complicated as we move forward. So we'll save the complicated stuff for when the complicated stuff needs to happen. So for right now, we will go up and see what kind of cool stuff we can get out of this chest. Boom. No, oh, that was bad timing, whoops. Okay. There it is, I got it. Give me that chest. So this is either gonna give me a key or, I think it has to give me rupees. I don't know if we have any rooms that need a key. Oh, nice. 50 rupees, not bad. So we got some good money to start things off. Then we can go down, oh wait, not that way. Down this way. So I'm sure there's a dungeon you could set up that would make you get a ton of money. I've been meaning to try the boomerang, but I guess I'm not trying it on those guys. What does this have? Five rupees, not bad. But I'm sure there's like a straight line you could set up that's just like chest after chest. That'd be pretty cool. And ooh, I guess it might be a bit random which one you get. This time we got some Goombas. That's fine with me. Because we got this, ow! I was gonna say it was fine because we got this ranged attack, but not anymore. I still need to try the boomerang. Uh, whoa. Can't quite go that way. Don't have the big key just yet. So this has to give it to me. Uh. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice. Hitting you with that's pretty cool. Oh, that time it actually got you too. So the boomerang seems good. I need to definitely use this a bit more, but I don't know what else there is to use it on at this rate. Anyways, big key achieved. So we also got 50, 55 rupees by making our way through all of this too, so overall pretty good. Okay, I'll let those guys do their thing. Open it up. And we're going through, fighting the big blob. Boomerang goes out for a while too. And it does some good damage. Uh, is there something I'm supposed to do here? I forget. I don't think so. I think that just slowly he should eventually fall. I can't remember, it's been too long. Uh, maybe not. Uh, I can't remember. Weird. Oh, I stunned him. There we go. You know what, let me throw a bomb down. That might have been it. Maybe the bomb makes an explosion that makes him fall. It doesn't. What do we gotta do? Uh, oh, you know what? That's what we gotta do, I remember now. Okay, so for this guy, one, two, three, four, five. Come on, get him, keep getting him. Keep getting him, we got this. <laughs> there was that one slime still trying to get me. He's actually taking, oh, because I'm doing this wrong. I gotta, I gotta cut the division, right? Or I think I need to do it with like an arrow. I can't remember exactly, we'll try that. No? Is that wrong? Why can't I remember anything about this boss fight? Because there's something I gotta do here. I'm pretty sure, ah. Oh. Come on, that was lame. Okay, okay. Because once you get at a certain angle, like it just doesn't do anything anymore. So you would think you have to do something in the center. And I'm pretty sure that's what you gotta do, but apparently I cannot remember. Uh, Well, maybe the hook shot? No. That's weird. I swear that's what you had to do. Um. Oh, you know what? Oh, I did it the wrong way. Oh, I'm a dingus. That's what you gotta do. Has to be. It's the same answer all over again. Ah, oh, but my angling is awful because I'm like stressing out trying to get over there. That's it, yep, that's what you gotta do. <laughs> How did I forget that? I don't know, that's just embarrassing. I don't know, where's he going? Oh, uh, he's trying to get me. Oh, not happening, buddy. 
There we go. And then each one of them is just two hits. We got it. It's fine. Just took a couple of mistakes. Okay, so a, patch, a passage across is clear. Third challenge done. What a show. There was times I'd swear you had one foot in the grave. You say that every time. Uh, so we get another slab for this, which is cool. It's good that we're uh, unlocking more things for the chambers. Uh, so let's see what's next. The fourth one will be uh, fill up your hearts. Oh, look at this. Uh, fill up your hearts. It's up to you what chambers to use and how to arrange them. Just make sure you fill every single tile in the shape in that heart shape with a chamber. Mind how you how how you go connecting the exits and the stairs now. This looks like it might be tough. That's gonna take a while to figure out. Um. So yeah, I guess just probably like one like this, right? Let's just start there from the bottom and. I can just like put it up there. We don't have to complete all of it is the big thing. I mean, it might be worth doing. Okay, let's uh, let's do this one again. I like this one. And we're probably not gonna be using too many of these. But, hmm. Yeah, for right now, oh, it's hard to say though. I mean, I guess what would be good to do is like the four connecting ones Try to use as many of these, but the problem is we need a lot of keys for those, and that's where things can quickly get complicated. Uh, but if we could put those down the center, I feel like that would sort of make everything easier to manage. Yeah, just like that. Um, can we use more than one? No, I don't think we can. The only problem here is that there's a key. Oh, then that's not gonna work. Maybe if I put this one here instead, that'd be better. Because if it's against a wall, it just won't function properly. So that's where it gets really, really tricky. So I need to set up, basically every other room has to be a chest room, some way, somehow. If I can manage that, especially without it having um, any keys, would be really useful. So... Yeah, let's try maybe something like this. Well, no, 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 this, yeah, this side. There we go. And then next, I'll, yeah, get one of these, right? No, 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 has to be, I can't. Oh, that's where it gets tricky. That's where it gets really tricky. Um. Well, no, I mean, there, there are some options here. If I did like this, we could still get the answers we're looking for. And this has a chest, so we could do that. And then this one on the top has to be a dead end. This is where it gets very complicated very quickly. They definitely made a huge jump in difficulty here. Uh, yeah, do that. And then the next one has to be like this. Do any of these have chests? Several. So we'll do this one. And then, yeah, we're looking for this. Hmm. I'll probably do the Shy Guy one again. So we're more than halfway done here. That's good. And we have plenty of chests lined up, so we should be good with that too. Uh, that means that I'm, I'm a bit more comfortable with uh, setting up one of these that requires four keys. Because this top door required a key anyways. The other one requires a big key anyway, so like it sort of works out pretty well. Um, now this one, we need, yeah, okay, one of these types of rooms. So we're gonna have a lot of chests in this, which is exactly what I want though. So next up, I need one of these. Oh, I don't want the staircase. Definitely don't want the staircase if I can avoid it. We'll try something like this, but I don't have, I don't have the switch. So that might not be a good idea. Might hold off on that one. So I might might want to do the bomb guys, or I could do this one. This one should be fine. And then next up, just one final one, uh, but it would be like this. I'll do this one again, that one's pretty simple. So we have a lot of chests here. We only need one, two, three, four types of keys, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chests, so actually, 10 chests, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. yeah. 
Okay, so that should be good. Yeah, everything set up, not giving me any errors. Okay, we did it. We did the heart dungeon. I like it. So let's get started with this one. Oh yeah, I remember this. So for right now, I'm just gonna go to the left. And we gotta fight this guy right away. I'm ready for you though. Whoa, watch it. Oh, nice. He's easy now. He's so easy. Everybody's so easy now that we've gotten the damage upgrade from the color dungeon and the coalent sword. But yeah, by the end of today's episode, I mean, I think he's supposed to be giving us rewards soon. By the end of today's episode, I hope that we have all the seashells. We should have all the seashells and all the heart pieces from Dompei. So let's hope that's actually the case. Up this way, yeah, this one's a little tricky. But what we gotta do is that. And then just let it go down. And that should unlock us a chest. Very nice. Okay, very good indeed. That is a small key. So we wanna go up, up, and then back down, and then left, because this way is sort of like its own little section. That I wanted to sort of do that part first. Okay, I remember these guys, yeah. Oh, nice, I love the double hit there. Okay, lift them. No, I was gonna lift. There we go. Then if I could pick you up, that'd be perfect. Cause then I could just toss you in. <laughs> okay, he didn't even put up much of a fight. So this one shouldn't be too bad. And there we go. What I like about this one, this like sort of designer, is that it makes sure that all of your dungeons are at least solvable and coherent. That actually is a pretty big step over Mario Maker, where it's just like you can guarantee that the, the dungeons are solvable in at least some kind of intuitive way. It'd be really fun if you could share the dungeons you made. I'd be really happy with that. Uh, okay. This can be a bit tough to do. Oh wait, 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 there it is. And we get another chest. So far we've only gotten keys, but sooner or later we gotta get start getting rupees. There we go. Well, I, actually, maybe we got a, another rupee the previous. I can't remember. Yeah, we did. So that's up to 40 rupees now. So we got this guy. Just gonna throw a pot on him. That actually didn't do much. Oh, these drop stuff. There we go. So like, that's just a guaranteed takedown. It's just smacking him with the boomerang twice, even if he's shielded from the front. Okay. And that's a purple rupee. We're making lots of money from this one, 101. Not bad. I wonder if I can use this to teleport back to the beginning, just for like a second of ease, instead of having to run all the way back. Uh, yep, warp to entrance, as easy as that. Not bad, I like that. So yeah, let's see where this brings us. Obviously back to the entrance, but I don't remember what some of these other rooms really go to. Okay, so this can be a bit tricky, but what we're supposed to do is go to the left, come back, ow, jump over that guy, and then we can either go up, we could go to the right. What's funny is I don't even ever have to go through this door. I could just go up, right, down, uh, and I think that's ex exactly what I'll do. I'll press the button, just in case. Oh, this guy, come on. I have a lot more damage I can do now. Hopefully we can handle him. Oh, let me also use the boomerang. Okay, well, my boomerang's out and about at the moment, because this guy is not fun to deal with. Ha! Oh, that one right past him, come on. Fine, I'll use a bow in there, they travel faster. There we go, do it again. This guy's such a coward. Huh. Nice. Oh, I missed, <laughs> but that'll open the doors. We don't need to go to the left, so we'll just go to the right for right now. Actually, let me grab this heart piece first. Okay, so this is the one, well honestly, there isn't too much we need to do. Uh, we haven't gone down though, have we? Nope. Just gotta defeat all the enemies, I believe. Got him. Nice. And that was it. No, my heart on the top left is falling down the pit. It's not what I want. Oh, free money though. 106 so far. So what's gonna be inside of this one? Maybe our fourth key? Nope, it's one green rupee. So the more chests you put in, I guess the more of a chance you might get some smaller amounts, which is a little underwhelming. But that's okay, we'll live. Can you stop it? Thank you. See, so yeah, for this one, we could go any which way. I sort of designed it that way, so it's a little bit approachable. 
That way, if we run into a problem, I don't think I need to fully solve everything. I'm just, for right now, I'm just looking for the big key. So I guess there is a limit on how many chests you can put in before it just starts giving you one green rupee, which is a bit of a bummer. Yeah, there's lots of green rupees. That sort of stinks, I don't like that very much. But it does encourage you to, I guess, change up your dungeon design a little bit, maybe make it a bit more interesting. Don't include more than like three or four chests. Whoa, whoa. Don't get squished, Link. Lots of slimes everywhere, so I don't have that big key. Hoping that I can find it in here. It has to be in here. Whoa, whoa. Open up. It has the big key, very cool. So it seems like most of the time it spawns the big key pretty close to the boss fight door. I mean, I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's been coincidental, but if that's on purpose, that makes most of these even easier to solve. Okay, yeah, we got the, uh, I don't know what this guy is, he's like a beetle. Doesn't say his name, unfortunately. Yeah, we're just gonna attack him like this, so ow. Come on, come on. Got him. Get a little bit closer. Thank you. Come on, we can get him. Uh, step back, take your time. I'm not doing that. We're going all in. I, I'll, at least I'll try to. <laughs> it's not working out perfectly so far. Hard to get over to him, and he's like healing up. Oh, we're getting lots of stuff though. Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay, oh, yeah, come in closer, see what happens. I need to jump over them, that's what I gotta do. Ow, if I could get the timing right, that is. Come on. Oh, that was really working now. And he was almost down there, he's all shattered. That's it! I don't know why, that was so much harder than the first time I fought him. Weird. Anyways, we got it! Fill up your hearts, clear. So I wonder what we get, if we get a heart piece for this, that'd be very fitting. What a show, there were, yeah I know, one foot in the grave, yada yada. Um, I feel like that deserves an, a, a reward. Oh hey, here's our seashell, and that's the final one in the game. You found a secret seashell, if you clicked all of these, uh, there could be something in it for you. And also a piece of heart. Very cool. So you've got a knack for this stuff. I'm itching to see how you'd handle arranging a dungeon from the ground up. I'm thinking I'll throw together a thing where you can arrange a dungeon however you want. Watching you down there gave me an idea for a new challenge. It's ready whenever you want it. Ooh, here we go. What are you here for? Well, let's get back to arranging. So next up we have Key Hunter. Ooh, look at this one. So this one already has like a room with four keys. Uh, key Hunter, I hear you, the treasure chest tiles aren't too close to the to the locks on that one chamber. That's the point. Your job is to make a path using all of them. Remember to put some other chests in too. You wouldn't want to lock yourself out of the rest of the dungeon. That's for sure. So for this one I'm thinking we could use like underground tiles to make this a little bit easier at some spot. So for right now, I'm going to use just something simple like this would be a good start. Um, along with it, if I wanna make this even easier, I could do something like that. Okay, so, cause I need at least, if I have a setup like this, I need a room with one more chest in it. So we'll definitely do that. Uh, for right now, yeah, I'm looking for something like this would be perfect. And that has a staircase downwards, so that's good. And then we'll have a, sta a staircase back upwards, maybe here and those should be connected, they are. Okay, so from there, we could do a couple of things. I could do this, and then along with it, do we have any other room like that? Uh, not quite, but that's fine, that's fine. So I'm definitely like doing this in a different way than I had expected, which is fun. No, like that. No, that's not what I want. How do you, how can I change the ladders? That's not what I want. That messes everything up. That's not cool. Why can't I determine, that ruins everything, Oh, <laughs> Because I was gonna go from, so what if I were to do something like this? It's always like what is closest, I guess, which is weird. Cause that really messes up everything. Um, I feel like that's very restrictive for some reason. 
Anyways, we'll do, if I have to work with that, then I have to work with that. We'll do something like, I know I do this room a lot though. Let's try this one. Uh, yeah, try doing that. And then, if I could just get down this way, that'd be really helpful. Uh, and then we'll do a three slotted one, something like this. Uh, that should be pretty simple. Actually, no, I need another key for that, so I don't know if that's what I want. Uh, I mean, I could try it. Because then we have something like that going on, and that's fun. But we'll need one, two, three, four keys, and that's just where it gets messy. So it's like, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe we could just make it another boss fight with this guy. I'm sorry, but it is a very useful room. Because I don't want anything with keys. Actually, maybe I'll do this one instead. Hold on. Uh, no, there. Also, what is with that? I don't want that. Stop doing that. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez, it's just like, why does it force its way of doing things? I don't like that very much at all. Okay, so then I, I'll just do this room. Hmm. So with this one, I guess I could just, yeah, use one of these. I'm not looking for any kind of staircase. I actually just needed to sort of move through. And then we can just do a simple room. That'll work. So that's one, two, three, four chests, which is perfect. Um, now we just sort of have to keep things moving, which might be a bit more difficult. Uh, actually, keep getting the buttons mixed up. Something like this might be good. Just for some extra chests here and there would be good. Just to ensure everything works out all right. Uh, hmm. I don't want to do any of the ones with switches because I don't, I don't, I don't think I have any rooms that have any switch changers because if that doesn't work, that'll be a big problem. So we'll try this because this does work. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, is there an undo button? There's not an undo button. That's actually really weird. Why would you not put an undo button? And I guess it doesn't matter as long as it's one that, it was this one that we used. It's just weird. There are definitely some choices about this that I'm like, I don't I don't agree with that. Like not being able to choose which, which uh, stairs go to what, like why not? That sounds like so much fun, but it's very restrictive with that idea. Has to be the way the game wants it, not the way you want it, even though you're the one making them. Should be the way you want it. I don't know if we're gonna get any rupees out of these right now. It looks like it's just hearts, which unfortunately I do not need. I mean, actually very fortunately. Okay, so these are fun now. I remember this puzzle, but maybe I should first, Get rid of that. That was good. And boop. Nice. So for this one, I think it's something like, yeah, there we go. And that should get me a chest right over that way. Then we can go down the stairs and over to the other area. That'll be fun. And there's our first key of several, of many. Going down this way now. So this one has a lot of pots. It's once again interesting. I don't know what determines which room we get, but this is pretty cool. Okay, okay. What do we gotta do for this? Oh, I need one of the pots, right. I remember, I remember. A Little bit of a flashback. Thank you very much. And no, come on, I could have squeezed through that. You're kidding me. Try again. I'll be a bit more patient this time. There it is, ha, <laughs> I got it, I win. So what is next up this way? Oh, I wanna use the boomerangs against these guys. I just wanna keep trying stuff. So that doesn't do much as you can see, but I can just wait for them to turn around or not, whatever, whatever. There we go, <laughs> finally got him out of there. We'll get another key, surprise, surprise. Now we can go through this door. So now we're uh, way over this way. I'm pretty sure I need to destroy all, both of these guys to get the uh, key I'm looking for. Come on. Oh boy, I might just run up and smack him. There we go. And that is indeed another chest. So we're looking for how many keys? I think like three in total and then a big key. So if this is our third key, then we're all set. We got all the keys we need. Very cool. Uh, there we go. So what is in this next room? At least we're using like a good variety of stuff so far, seems to me. 
Gotcha. Oh, can I even go in that room down there? I might not be able to. I might have set this up wrong. No, 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 I can do this, okay. I was worried that they would maybe do that to me, but I'm glad they did, they did that they didn't. Okay, uh. Can I get this guy somehow? I mean, I'm sure I could. There we go. Nice, we got him. See, on the other side, we have this chest and a button underneath it. So press that button, go across. This has another chest. This should probably be the big key, or it might not be, it might just be rupees. Just rupees. Sort of unfair that it only gave me one, considering I haven't gotten any of the big money chests so far. So I guess there might just be like an element of like luck of the draw, sort of. Which is a bit odd, but I guess it makes sense. There we go. So what is inside of this one? Hopefully something good. It might be the big key though. Nope, 20 rupees. I, I enjoy that, that's good. So we only have one more chest left to get, and I'm not even gonna spend one of these keys, so that's good. I mean, if I don't want to, I don't even have to. But this one has to be the big key, because it's like the only thing we haven't gotten. Let's find out. Oh yeah, I don't like this thing very much! Oh gosh, I did, there wasn't even even an opposite force there. No, what are you doing? I think I'm doing this correctly. I don't know why he's going at an angle and I'm not even pressing anything. Okay, uh, I forget what I do with this. Do I have to hit him with an arrow? Does that work? No. Why does it do that right at the end? Okay, it's being baloney. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, that actually got it this time. Weird. Anyways, nightmare key, we got it. And that means we can run back this way. Ignore any of the slimes that pop up if there's any more. And go and fight the boss, which I guess is this guy. Did I choose this? I think the game chose the boss. Because I would have chose something different. Because we've already fought this guy today. Got him. <laughs> as easy as that. Not bad at all. So there we go, there's another one done. I don't know how many of these I need to do, but I do know that there's still heart pieces and I think a fairy bottle to get out of it. So what do we get this time? Another slab. Is that it? Uh, I guess so. Alrighty, next up we have Bombs Away. This bomb's primed with a couple of chambers already. Now it's your turn to stuff it with powder or chambers. But don't worry, the fuse isn't lit. You got time to figure this out. So do I have to fill up every room? I can only assume so. So uh, we'll just we'll just sort of figure it out as we go along then. Uh, the first big thing would probably be, I would actually like to show or set up one of these rooms. I think the easiest one out of the four is definitely this one. Yeah, I'd say so. That way we can go up there, along with it. I mean, for this one, we have to do something like, uh, which rooms have I not done yet? I haven't done this one. Let's try this one out. And then along with it, wait, what is this? Whoa, <laughs> I don't know why that had an exclamation mark. I guess it's new stuff. So we do have a couple of new options on some of these. Where are our other new ones? Got one right there. So I guess you can just have boss fights. You could have like an entire boss fight chamber if you set it up correctly, that's cool. Or a full boss fight dungeon. And you get all the stuff. So we'll try this up that way. Now around the corner, I would like to do something like, let's try this little blue blob guy. I don't know if we've gone against him today, so that'll be fun. And then three of them I guess with this, yeah, that would work. That would definitely work out. Hmm, just trying to figure out my options, I suppose. Because I'm trying to keep this simple as much as I possibly can as well. That just makes it easier to figure out on, in the long run. Okay, so. Yeah, we haven't seen this room. That'll be fun. So let's see how things are going so far. No entrance place, I'm a dingus. I don't know why I thought that was the entrance. Uh, also, this is not gonna work, uh, I'm now realizing. Uh, so let's just uh, remove this room. 
Oh, geez. I, I was doing this all with the assumption that was the entrance for some reason. I was being really silly. Uh, sure then, you know what we'll do? Let's take a look at the entrances. Is there one that starts from the top and goes to the bottom? I guess there's not. That's sort of a shame. Uh, which one should I do then? None of these, like that one will work out at all. So, oh, that just like totally messes what I was thinking of with all this. I guess I could just get rid of that for now. I'll have to get rid of this room as well. Jeez, I'm so silly. There we go. So far, so good. And then we'll do a three-slotted one going this way. Hmm. I don't think we tried that one yet. Oh, this one requires a key. That's fine, that's fine. We'll be okay with that. And what else can we do? I don't know if I want to fight him again. That one requires a bunch of keys. We already have a four slotted room, so maybe it's not necessary. Okay, you know what, this this one right here might be good. Oh, this one actually has the switch, so we might as well try that, and then it'll have a door. I wonder if, the, is there any kind of single room I can do that has? Well, I mean, they all connect to something. That's always like one big thing, big constant, I guess. So we could do that. And then I want it to be nice and simple for this. Yeah, sure, something like that. That might be work, working, or go pretty well or something, I don't know. Uh, next up. Hmm. I guess something like this. Oh, we haven't fought th these guys yet in today's episode. And then back to the triple slotted. I, I hate dealing with these guys, but I'll do it. Yeah, that that'll be the best bet. And then way over here. I forget how this guy works, so we might as well fight him. That'd be cool. And then I think Uh, let's try this room. Oh, we need a key for that, that should be fine, that should be fine. And then actually, yeah, we need another three-slotted one just in the inverse. That's a pretty simple room, we can work with that. And then one of these, oh, I haven't done this one. Actually, that has a staircase, not gonna work. That also has a staircase. This one does not have a staircase, ooh. So we're almost done. We're working on it. So now I need one that's in that bottom corner. We'll do another one of these. I like these little puzzles. They can be fun. And then I think that, yeah, for this last one, well not the last one, but this one we definitely need like a four slotted thing. I'm thinking we'll just do this to keep it simple. Oh wait, that well that does require a key, but that's fine, it's fine. And then another two slotted going into the left and up. And then we can keep it simple with this one. And then all we need now is this and a boss fight. So maybe I'll heal up just in case I need to get some extra hearts. And then lastly, a boss fight. Uh, we haven't fought the face guy yet. So we're fighting the face guy. This is a big dungeon. All right, well, let's get started. Go adventuring. <laughs> This might be tough, I gotta be honest. I, I I honestly forgot most of it along the way. So let's go up. I guess I just have to pick a way to it. When you make these dungeons this huge, it's just easy to forget everything. Uh, for right now I'm fighting, oh, I need the powder, don't I? Uh, there we go, get him. Oh yeah, this guy was like a mini boss in the color dungeon, I remember now. It's all coming back to me. He's pretty cool actually. It might be one of my favorite mini bosses. There we go, and we got him. <laughs> and he's gone forever. That's probably not true, we'll see him again. So I will grab that, thank you very much, and we'll keep moving. Now this room, oh yeah, this one's a little tricky. But luckily we don't have to go back into that room we just came from. Oh yeah, okay, I remember all this. First off, we get a key. We're gonna need some of those. 
And then I should be able to pick these up. Yeah, with the, the Titan's Mitt or whatever it is in this game. And this will likely have another key. Indeed it does. Because we're looking for, uh, I can't tell now. At least like three or four keys, including the uh, monster key or the nightmare key, whatever it is. And then for this one, I will make a bomb. Ow, <laughs> get hit by that guy. Not what I wanted. Just toss it over there, please. Thank you. And this will have a chest in it. A pretty simple one. And that's another key. Okay, we're racking up the keys really quickly. I mean, if we can get lucky with the big key, we might even be able to take a shortcut. I don't know if I should shortcut my own dungeon, though. It might be a little uncool. But at the same time, I do get a little fatigued because we sort of kind of have seen these rooms before, you know, technically. Can I hit this with the boomerang? I can, ooh, that's nice. For right now, let me see how close I can get to the end. Hey, buddy. Boom. Okay, watch it. <laughs> Only three hits. The poor guy gets taken out so quick. And that's another fairy for us, the least. Please, thank you. Yeah, so I have a key for this room. And so I, I definitely need to find the big key somewhere. Maybe it'll be this way. I mean, it might even work a little bit differently than I expect. It might actually be that what it gives you depends on which order you find it. It has no like predetermination. I might be wrong with that. We'll find out what's in here. A blue rupee. So I can't make my way to the boss anyways because I don't have the big key. So I might as well explore this other stuff anyways. Ow. It might be designed that the very last chest you find is guaranteed to be the big key. I would imagine that way you can't really cheese it a little bit. Oh, they seriously didn't eat that? Oh yeah, I really don't like these guys. Don't you just shake your head now. That was that was not cool. <laughs> okay, toss it that way. And it goes right into the pet. I mean, what's funny? What's really funny is I could just leave. I mean, I need the chest. There we go. Come on, move. Oh, you're not opening your mouth though. Means you're not eating. So I gotta wait for you to start doing that. How did that not work? Dude. There we go. And I will happily grab that fairy. But I pressed the button. Dude. Dude. There we go. Is that enough to get him? I think he needs another one, yeah. Ah, uh, they're the worst. Come on. Ah, oh, he's still not opening his mouth. There he goes, see ya. And did I lose any health on that second guy? I lost one half of a heart. There we go. So let's see if this is the big key, because if so, I can rush through the rest of this. It's a rupee. I'm pretty sure it's designed so that the last chest you get is always the big key. That way you have to explore like basically the whole thing. Hi. So yeah, for this guy, Oh, that's right, I have to destroy all of them as they fly at me. Got it, got it, <laughs> got it. Ow, it's always the, like one of them. It stinks. Yeah, yeah, keep laughing. Just keep laughing it up. From this angle, I'll get them. But they just, they swerved up before they even hit me. That was baloney. Oh my gosh, I forgot how much I didn't like this. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is so not cool. So not cool how that works. I just like, I genuinely do not like that. Maybe if I stand on one side, they'll all come in this way. And then I can like run over here. I don't think that really changes much. Got it, thank you. So what is he gonna do? Oh yeah, he just leaves. But I get a chest out of it. No, I don't. That room was not really worth doing. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Ah. Uh, Okay, not good. So let me just focus on the rooms that actually can get me to where I need to go. So I'll have to get back up here and go into that staircase to go down that way. Okay, let's do that now. Oh, it's these guys. These guys are so creepy. Okay, so I'll use the boomerang with them. See how that goes. 
Uh, whoop. Hey, 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 hold on. Oh, am I supposed to reflect those? I forgot. I might be. No? Okay, I'm just gonna use the bow and arrow. It's simpler. There we go. I mean, maybe I can just slice at him. Oh, he's gonna charge forward. Should've known. Uh, not good. Come on. Ah, that was lame. Yeah, you actually can't just attack them. You have to hit them with the bone arrow. I don't remember that. I mean, maybe I could do the hook shot as well. Oh well, that did not work. He's charging for me. There we go. Then I can get him. This is a tougher boss fight than I, I gave it credit for. Come on, he has to be low on health. There we go. Ready for this? Uh, I was facing the wrong way somehow. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is taking us a long time. This is gonna be a long episode. So let me switch back to that. Oh no, no, we should be fine, right? Yeah, okay. Boomerang's super helpful with that. So for this, yeah, there's piranha plants, we gotta be careful. Come on, there we go. Climb all the way down. And what's going on here then? We just gotta go down, we can actually ignore all of this. Even if this guy is hitting me. And I gotta fight this guy. Oh, I remember this guy now. I remember being super tough, because we need to jump over him. Oh gosh. See, you can't really hit him with projectiles, it seems. There we go, but he doesn't take many hits. That'll be a chest for us, I hope. Okay, thank you. Definitely grab that fairy. Will this be the big key? It will not. I'm pretty positive that means it's predetermined that the last chest you get is always guaranteed to be the big key. That way you can't just run to the end, grab the big key and leave. Or just get really lucky with it. You have to actually like, solve it. Which is interesting, but I also, I sort of wish the player could determine that. I mean, I guess for these specific challenges that wouldn't make too much sense, but I feel like in general, it'd be way more enjoyable if when I des design a dungeon, I can choose where the staircases lead, where the ch what the chests give you, all that kind of stuff. I feel like that would be way more fun and interesting. But anyways, we still need to find that final chest, which is pretty simple to get actually. I just need to get down this way and move to the right three times. And actually what's funny is I don't need to solve this at all, but I solved it. That was fortunate. So for this one, once again, I actually don't need ah, to bother with these guys. I'm just can keep moving. And this is the room with the chest, indeed it is. So get rid of you first, and then yeah, reflect you. Okay, so that's not what I wanted. So from here, perfect. And I think it's the same deal, just in reverse. Never mind. Got it. Give me that chest. Way over there. Okay. But we're doing a pretty good job through this. I mean, I'm just sort of doing what I gotta do to get it done. Nightmare key. Cool. Ouch. <laughs> so for this one, I should be uh, fine just to get to the end of it now. And we'll fight whatever boss is there. Oh yeah, it's the face guy, the face shrine dude. Oh, do we have to beat all the bats? I think we do. Boom, and gotcha. Thank you very much. Grab some extra health, I'm glad I did that. Now I'm at full health to fight the boss. Angry face dude. Okay, what do I gotta do for this guy again? Uh, right now I'll throw a bomb on him. That should work. From what I remember, yeah, you just gotta place a bomb on his face. All right, oh. He doesn't really show up in too many other places. You can almost always guarantee that he's just gonna show up right there. I guess I could also throw like a pot at him. Oh, that didn't get him. Yeah, if I put it in the center, even then it's gonna relatively get him. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, put that there. No, 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 what are you doing? Okay, this is actually stopping, or not, it's, it's not working out. The strategy is falling apart. 
There we go. I mean, maybe I could just slice him? No, I can't slice him. And we're getting him quite often. There we go, right on top of him. He's got a bomb on his eye, and see ya. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. And now, we are done another dungeon. Bombs away clear. There's still quite a lot of these to do, aren't there? Uh, what a show, Th there were times I swear, blah, 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 blah. We get another slab, but is that it? Oh, you got a plus bombs effect. Apply it to a chamber for a deluge of bombs. Interesting. So it seems as though there is still a lot more Dompe Shack. It takes a lot of time to get through, but I think that we're, from what I looked at, it looks like we're halfway through all of the missions. There's going to be six more to do, so we got six done in today's episode. We'll get another six done in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Before you go, be sure to comment Dompe Zebra so you have watched at the end of the URA Zebra-tastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.